Now to the latest on the deadly shooting in Kansas City. Local officials have confirmed the identity of the person killed during the Super Bowl parade. The gunfire erupted at the end of the event and hospitals confirmed that more than 20 people were hurt, half of them being children. Investigators say the three people taken into custody have yet to be charged and they continue to search the scene. Jason Guidola joins us live in studio with the latest. Jason. Uh, hey, Louie, uh, investigators are confirming that two of the three detainees are under the age of 19 and believe the shooting is linked to a personal dispute. No, oh, we tackled them. Yeah, we tackled them. Yeah. When, when we tackled them, the gun came out. In the heat of the moment, Paul Contreras heroically tackled a suspicious person following gunshots at a Super Bowl celebration. He got close to me, I got the right angle on him, and I hit him from behind. And when I hit him from behind, I either jarred the gun out of his hand or out of his sleeve. Because as I'm taking him down to the ground, I see the gun on the ground. In this viral video filmed by his daughter, others helped pin down the suspect, and then law enforcement arrived to detain the person in question. I do want to comment on the question that I got earlier about a video of um, some fans tackling someone. We do have three persons detained and under investigation for today's incident. We are working to determine if one of the three are, are the one that was in that video uh, where, where fans assisted police. Kansas City's police chief says investigators are still trying to determine a motive, but it believes it ties into a personal dispute between several people. Police say two of the three are under 19 years old. <laughs> While the NFL's Kansas City Chiefs made it through its Super Bowl celebration to Union Station, it was at the end of the rally when shots were fired. As fans frantically tried to escape, authorities say more than 20 people were hurt, half of them being children as young as eight years old. And one person was tragically killed, local DJ Lisa Lopez Galvan. She regularly DJs many events throughout Kansas City, and I last celebrated um, a fiesta milestone with her and her family uh, on stage, and we were uh, celebrating uh, culture and, and embracing her passion. Uh, and it is such a tragic loss, um, both to our community, but also to her family. Despite the presence of hundreds of officers, many fans feared for the victims and their own lives. And it struck me that when I was a kid growing up, I wasn't taught how to shelter in place with an active shooter. We had things like tornado drills. We didn't have what to do if somebody comes in seeking to kill you. And it was just such a surreal experience. You never think it's going to happen to you or in your environment. An estimated 1 million people took part of the 48th mass shooting in the U.S. this year. U.S. President Joe Biden released a statement saying in part, make your voice heard in Congress so we finally act to ban assault weapons, to limit high capacity magazines, strengthen background checks, keep guns out of the hands of those who have no business owning them or handling them. I had the chance to talk to my wife just a moment ago who said we became part of a statistic of too many Americans, those who have experienced or been part of or connected to a mass shooting. That is something that I hope we all recognize is highly problematic for all of us. Now, as of today, local health officials say majority of the people that were hurt in the shooting have been discharged from hospital, including nine patients from the local children's hospital. As for police, they say one of the three that were taken into custody have been released after they determined they weren't involved in the shooting.